I'm a youth helper at Itty Bitty Bakers, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make one of my family's favorite sweet treats, elephant ears. <laughs> to make elephant ears, you will need tortillas, sugar, cinnamon, oil, a pan, tongs, and a mixing utensil. First, you will need to make your cinnamon and sugar mixture. First, take three cups of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and mix. Once you're finished mixing your cinnamon and sugar, it should look something like this. I switched to a whisk because it was easier to get the cinnamon to mix in with the sugar. Next, you're going to add half a cup of oil to your pan. It de depending on how big your pan is, you might need to add more or less oil. But the main thing is to just cover the bottom of your pan. Once you're finished with your cinnamon and sugar mixture, head over to your stove and turn it on medium heat. Depending on the size of your tortillas, you might want to leave your tortillas in the oil for less time or more time. If your tortillas are smaller, you might want to leave them on for less time. But they should look like this once they finish. And if they do look like this, you should turn them over and get the other side. And if they don't, just put it back on for less time. Now that you're finished, take one of your tortillas and put it on a separate plate. And then take your cinnamon and sugar mixture from earlier and sprinkle it. At some point, some people drizzle honey on top of the elevator, but my family just prefers not to. And if this is too much cinnamon and sugar for you, you can just shake it off and they are still really good. And another way that some of my family likes to eat it is to roll them up. And that kind of keeps a lot of the cinnamon and sugar on the elephant ears. And that concludes our elephant ears recipe. I hope you get a chance to try this out with your family. 